Hey guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a great day. Well, let's stuff those stockings. You know, in between making tags and stuffing stockings, I am so in the Christmas mood. And today's stocking stuffer is just so sweet. And guys, it is truly, truly super easy to make. And here it is. Now, isn't this just cute? I'm gonna bring the camera up so that you can see it. Isn't that just adorable? It is a double stacked box and it'll hold some goodies. And this is perfect for a stocking stuffer or putting on a coworker's desk. It is a great way to sell stocking stuffers at your craft fair. Just fill these with some goodies and set them out. So let's get started on making this because I want y'all to see how easy it is to do it. So we are going to start with the larger box first and we are going to be making a box when finished that measures two by two. And the paper size to make this box is eight by six. So on the six inch side, we're going to score this at one and a half. Three and a half. And at five and a half. But because my five and a half mark is right dead center in the middle of my scoreboard, I'm just gonna slide this over so that I can just get my half inch mark made. So again, we're going to score this at one and a half, three and a half, and five and a half. And then we're going to turn it to the eight inch side, the eight and a half inch side, and we're going to score this at two, four, six, and at eight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the paper for my other one since I've got my scoreboard out. We're going to go ahead and do the scores for the smaller box. So to make the smaller box, we need a piece that measures six and a half by four and a half. And on the four and a half inch side, we are going to score this at one, at two and a half, and at four. And then we're going to turn this to the um, six and a half inch side and we're going to score it at one and a half. Three. Four and a half. And six. And now we can put our scoreboard away. Okay. So, on our larger box, we are simply going to fold and burnish all of the score marks. And then we're going to have two narrow strips. So we've got the long narrow strip and then a shorter narrow strip. And the shorter narrow strip is actually our glue tab. So we're gonna get rid of all of this and all of that. So I'll come back with my finger blade and I am simply going to remove, I'm gonna cut up to the second score mark and remove that. And then I will just cut that off and I'll do the same thing down here. And then I'll cut this off. So now we've got the narrow strip remaining this is actually the top half of our box. So now we're gonna come in and just angle cut the um, bottom part of the box. And I am doing a double angle cut. So what that means is I've got my fold line here. So I am simply making a slight cut at an angle on both sides of my fold line, which runs right here. 
So that's what I mean when I say that I am going to angle cut. So I'm gonna come back and just trim this out. And I'll be left with that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over on this score mark. And then I'll come here to the top and I'm simply going to cut straight down. So I'll go up to the second score mark and cut straight down. And all I'm doing at this point is just releasing all of these tabs. All right, so this is what you're gonna have. And then we're gonna take this and just act like we're putting it together, but we're not. So what you have here, when you put your glue flap, which is right here, wherever that glue flap lands, that's the back of your box. So this is the part that's actually going to fold in and close our box. So take your scissors right now and just snip off that half and this half. So you want it to look like this. And then we're going to take our scissors and right below the score mark of the piece in front of the back flap, we're going to trim off just a little bit and then we're going to come back on that piece, place some glue, fold it in, and that'll just give us a little bit of stabilization. We don't have to remove that piece. So now before we do anything else, we are going to take these little half pieces that we cut, and we're simply going to angle cut these so that our box will close easier. Just like that. And then we're going to take this part, which remains, but we're just going to come in and just trim off a little bit of the edges so that the box will close a lot easier as well. So this is what we're left with. And now we can put this together. So we're going to take the glue flap and place our glue. And then we'll just bring this up, bring it over and we're gonna get our box closed. But first, Sherry, you need to get it straight. Just like that. So this will fold in and this will close just like this. So now what we want to do is we are going to take these side pieces. So this is the flap that faces the front of the box. So we're gonna take these two, fold them in, then we'll place glue on this one, and we're gonna fold it up just like that. We wanna make sure we keep our box nice and squared. And then we'll take this one, and we're gonna fold it down and create our little cube. So let's go ahead and go over that a little bit with our bone folder. And there we've got box number one done and this box measures two by two. So let's bring in the second piece that we did, which is our smaller box. And we're gonna follow the same process that we did on the other one. So we've got our score marks down. And we are simply going to put this little cutie together. Okay, so again, we have got a long narrow strip here and then we've got a shorter narrow strip here. We want to get rid of this and we want to get rid of this. So I'm gonna come back with my finger blade and I'll just go ahead and angle in on that one. Cut that off. Take this out completely up to the second score mark. I'm going to remove it and then I'll take this out. And now I can come back and because I've got my flaps here, these are my, this is my top. So all I'm going to do is go up to the second score mark and cut down. And all I did was release my tabs. And now here at the bottom, I'll come back and just angle cut my bottom tabs.
All right, so we've got this. And now what we want to do is pretend that we're putting the box together just like we did the other one. So I'm gonna bring this here so you guys can see that my glue flap, hold this back just a little bit. So my glue flap is actually right here, which means this is the piece that's going to fold in so I can bring my scissors in and snap that and snap that. And then this piece here, I just want to remove a little bit right below that score mark. And now I can put my box together. So let's go ahead and glue this on the glue flap and let's put it together. Again, I want to make sure I've got it straight because I want my box to be nice and square. So I'll come back in with my bow, bone Get folder. Stuck down. One thing that I forgot to do, guys, was to take that little flap that I trimmed and fold it in. But no harm, I can fold it in now. And then I will take my box And let's snip off some of this so that this box will close easier. And then I'll trim off just a little bit of this tiny little flap here. And we're going to go ahead and close it. Just like this. And now we can go ahead and put this together. So I'm gonna bring in these two side flaps here and fold them in. And then I will take this piece, fold it this way. And then I'll take this piece, glue it up, and then just fold it. And now we've got a cute little one by one box. And it's really, really that simple and that cute. So now we're going to take these boxes and we're going to stack them just like that. So now I am going to bring in some ribbon and what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of hot glue and run a little line on my ribbon and I'll take the bottom box and place it down. You don't have to do this but I just think for me it just adds to that neatness of it. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my ribbon up and all I'm going to do is try to tie off a halfway decent passable bow. So let's do that. So I've got both of my boxes gathered and I am going to take this and see if I can get something that I'm okay with. Just pull it out and make it a little bit loopier. All right, so I'm going to trim off some of that. And there I've got a cute little box that I am proud of. So now I'm going to dress this up and make this cute. So on this one, I have this little snowman, and I have another snowman for this one. I got these from Hobby Lobby at the end of last season. So it's really not costing me anything to make this project. So I'm gonna put him on there just like that. And then I'm gonna come back with one of my little snowflakes and add the snowflake with some hot glue. And then I have this cute little sticker that says Christmas Eve that I am going to place right there and then all I'm going to do to finish this off is drop just a little bit of glue right there and I will take my flat back pearl and put it right there and guys isn't that cute isn't it just adorable I'm gonna bring them both back in because these are perfect stocking stuffers 
The size is perfect for filling with little treats and dropping inside of a stocking or placing on a coworker's desk or placing on your craft fair table. Everybody's always looking for stuff like this at a craft fair. This is cute. This is eye-catching. So make some and have some fun with it. So I hope you guys like this project. And if you do, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting. And we'll chat later. Bye.